Meatball Subs. In this video, I will be visiting six restaurants that boast the highest rated meatball sub in LA. I'll be judging them on four key factors. Bread, meatball, sauce, and form factor. How wide do I have to open my little jaw to fit it in? Rules. Has to be takeout and I eat in car. Hunched over, sweating profusely, like there's a man timing me. You know, the Italian way. The first meatball sub is from All About the Bread in Melrose. Uh, just from looking at it, it looks good. Form factor is looking pretty good. Looks like I can fit this in my little jaw, as you can see. That's just okay. Um, the bread, excellent. It's like it's in the name. <laughs> the sauce. It's doing what's supposed to be doing, but not great. And the meatball. It's a meatball. Overall, the bread's great. Meatballs, ugh. And the sauce is, uh, it's average. Uh, I'm gonna give this a seven. It's just like, it's okay. You know, I'll eat it. Ever consider changing your name to, it's all about the, all the ingredients? Just a little thought. Our second location was Domingo's Italian Deli in Encino. Domingo's Italian Deli, eh? It's not offensive, I'm white. Looks pretty good, form factor so far. You can see my little jaw is having a little bit of trouble with this Italian hoagie here. That's not gonna work. Ah! Can't, can't fit it in. But let's figure out the, uh, the meatball, the sauce, and the bread. That is just, that's it. That's it, that's a meatball sub. It's just simple. They're not trying to do too much. I mean, look at all that meatball, 100% homemade. It's all beef, tastes great, the sauce is good, and it's an Italian hoagie. Where can you go wrong? It just, it's just, it just is what it is. It's just, it, it's a meatball sub, and it's also good on top of that. This is a nine out of 10 right here. This is a nine out of 10 meatball sub. My only plight is when I'm getting to these bites here on the right side, not enough sauce there. There needs to be more sauce. And uh, I, I am, I am <laughs> gonna eat the shit out of this, dude. Bye. All right, location number three is Giamella's in Atwater Village. Just from the looks, we got a whole lot of stuff going on. There's like pickles and onions and Form factor is gonna be docked many points. This is like three jaws worth. This is not fitting in any mouth. Even though things like this really remind me of the billboards, uh, taste is really important, so let's do it. <sighs> I'm confused by this. Do I like it? Do I not? I don't know. I don't know. The bread is a little too soggy for me. It's just so soggy, look at that. Sauce is okay. The meatball is good. That is the part that I am most certain of is that I like the meatball. Do I like it all together though? Science still can't answer this question. It turned out science could answer the question. And the answer was that it was trash. Five out of 10, barely. All right, so location number five is House of Meatballs in Westwood. Just looking at it, no peppers or pickles, Chamela's. Two things of note for this restaurant. Number one, this is our most expensive sub, sitting at $18. Second thing of note is this place is called House of Meatballs. I'm sure the bread is great. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see the form factor. It looks like it might be able to fit which I've never said before. It always fits for me. A nice snug. Wow. Well, that is good. I'm enjoying this experience. It's just, you know, it's just, I'm sorry. It's just so refreshing from last week because of fucking GML. Bread is great. It's crunchy. It tastes good. It works. I like that I can fit it into my little jaw. The sauce is great. The sauce is really there to just not be offensive. And honestly, this sauce has said barely any slurs at all. So that's good. Now, let's get to the sauce, the meatball. Honestly, this is the best meatball I've had to date. This is worth the $18. <laughs> I 
but it is really good though. The meatball is, it's like a little bit charred. It has like a nice burnt crispy edge, which is fantastic. It makes me want to do this with my fingers. It makes me want to walk up to the chef and go, I like your meatballs. And the chef goes, that is offensive, but thank you. Overall, an incredible meatball sub. I'm going to give this an 8.9 out of 10. Mwah, delicioso. I think Domingo's is just a little bit better. It's a little bit more classic, you know, but a really, really good meatball sub. Yuck, 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 yuck. That is, that is bad. But, uh, hi. Hi, I, uh, I'm sorry to bother you. I thought I saw you eating a meatball sub. Um, yeah, it's just from, from over here. Oh, just, just from over here. Yeah. You enjoying it? Um, oh, but you may be thinking of going in. I, I, I honestly, I don't think it's good at all. I think it's kind of bad. Oh, I mean, I'm the proprietor of this establishment and I just think that I just think that maybe you ought to change your mind um are you threatening me no 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 it's amazing it's so good please if you haven't had the chance visit redacted it's a really high rated the, the meatball is fantastic <laughs> the sauce is really good the the bread is really good the four factor fits right in my little jaw no problem wow ah amazing out of 10 wow all right visit it please please visit Please visit. Please, please go to Redacted. Visit Redacted. They have my family. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the series finale, the final location here is East Side Italian Deli in Los Feliz. Los Feliz? Los Feliz? I don't know, I'm ignorant. We ran through the gauntlet of meatball subs and this is the final one. So let's find out if it's any good. Look at the size of this meatball. Mamma mia. Yeah, that's not gonna fit. Yeah, that's pretty good. I enjoyed that. That's good. Uh, the peppers did not ruin it. Do they need to be there? Probably not, but it's fine. I liked it. All right, meatball. Big. Now, does bigger mean better? <laughs> no, right? Right, babe? If it was smaller, it would be fine. It would probably be better, actually. It's probably like too big. Average size, below average size. It's all good. It's all good, so. It tastes good. Uh, it's definitely not the best meatball. You know, House of Meatballs gets that title. The bread is pretty good. It's a little bit soggy, and I felt that any moment it would just all fall apart, but somehow it, it composes it into integrity. So form factor, due to the size of the meatball, is an absolute nightmare. That's never fitting in my jaw, any jaw, right? I mean, come on, Isai, what am I supposed to do? Put a little, little clamp in there and like how you would with the, maybe like a tire or something like that. Who has a jaw that wide? The sauce is good. Uh, it's like sweet and spicy. Uh, just overall great. All right, Eastside Italian Deli. Honestly, I'm glad this is our closer. It was just a solid sub. I'm gonna give this an 8.4 out of 10. I think the only thing I need to work on is maybe the sogginess of the bread and maybe making the meatballs just a little bit smaller. But it was great. Very enjoyable, very good. I recommend it. The peppers didn't ruin it, which is a marvel of science. The peppers actually kind of added to it. I enjoyed it. It was fine. It's fine. Peppers are fine, I guess. I don't know. Peppers are fine. So what was the best meatball sub? I mean, if you watch the video, you know. So let's go to the outro now. All right. So here are our final ratings. In last place, we have Giamellis with a five out of 10. Pickles and peppers? Um, more like pee pee and poo poo. In fifth place, we have All About the Bread with a seven out of 10. She's just an average girl. In fourth place is East Side Italian Deli with an 8.4. A solid sub, but it feels like they might be compensating with the size of their meatball. Uh, can't relate. Got a huge cock. So. In third place is House of Meatballs with an 8.9 out of 10. It's appropriately named, except it's not much of a house. It's more of a restaurant. <laughs> and finally for our winners, I couldn't pick a single one. Like I really didn't have the choice. Congratulations to Domingo's Italian Deli and Redacted for having the most bussin' meatball subs. 
I hate that I did that. I'm gonna go kill myself now. So to recap, what did we learn? Well, much like birds, Italians aren't real, but their meatball subs are pretty good, especially from a place that's named after a day of the week. TGI Fridays. Domingos, which in Spanish means Sunday, probably. We also learned that the perfect meatball sub is not about gimmicks. It's not about adding random ingredients, like say, I don't know, pickles or peppers, chamolas. It's about mastering the ingredients, and Domingos exemplified that. So congratulations, Domingos. You not only got my heart, you also got my money. If you think there's a better sub out there, please leave it in the comments, and maybe I'll do a part two. I don't know. But in the meantime, take care, enjoy your subs, and arrivederci. Please visit Redacted. Also, please subscribe so the number goes up. Thanks.